white men. Because black women were not brought over to be our women. Okay, they're brought over mm. to be to do two things: uh, uh, be the uh, uh, for labor slightly, but to be the white man's concubine and actually reproduce for him, product for him. They were they were not brought over to actually be our wives or our women. That did it happen? Sure. After especially after emancipation, right? They try to force us together. But thing is, they were not. They were never brought over solely to actually be our women. They're always supposed to be the white man's concubine. So that. And we're going to have a conversation. <clears throat> so my other post touched on the fact that if you have a successful relationship with a man, it is because he has evaluated that relationship and determined that he's the one with the power. Those relationships are always going to go smoothly. So when we look at interracial relationships that are the most successful, they happen between white men and black women. They have the lowest divorce rates of any other interracial couple. My theory behind why that is goes back to social gender dynamic theory in heterosexual relationships, which is if the man can look at the dynamic and realize that he has more power than the woman, that relationship is always going to go smoothly and he's always going to treat her well because he knows that she understands that she's the disempowered one. And I think that this is why relationships with white men and black women are so successful because there is no misunderstanding the fact that he has much more social power than she could ever have. Black men uh, that date white women will always take a white woman that's in his class. So if, he, if he's a corporate yeah. or, or, or educated, he's not going to accept a hood white woman. He's going to accept the, woman, the white woman in his class. The most white women that you see a black man with are going to be uh, middle class to upper middle class. There's very few hood white women who actually date a, a hood black man. It's not, it's not, you don't see it that often. Most, mostly it's a middle class to upper middle class. So what do you think about her theory about because the man has accepted that he knows that he has all the power and so that he's more willing to date that type of woman? No, the thing is, is that uh, there's two kinds of class systems in the United States, right? It's, all, it's just economic class, but it's also race. OK, so a black woman that that marries an average white man. OK, she moves up in classes because race is also a class. So status is. Her getting a white man is, 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 a, is a marker of, of uh, class. Also, it gives her more access to certain things because she does have a white husband. So, so let me, BJ, I have a question for you then. Mm -hmm. If I am, so, and I don't know this obviously because I'm not a black woman, but, but if I'm a black woman married to a white man, right. does that now open up doors for me that would have been closed had I married a black man? Uh, yeah, certain doors, yeah, it will because, uh, because, uh, uh, it de and it depends on the class of the of the white man, okay? Because uh, if you have a, if you have a white man and and you, he's going to have what white relatives like white white yeah. women and white women have a network, right? And it's going to be different from your black network. And yeah. mostly, most times, black women that d do marry white men have a white female network. So that white female network will open up more doors than the, than the black female network. But I, I feel like the cultural differences that you have to now undergo mm -hmm. to take that right. Like, so when they make the jokes about black people and you are a black woman and that, like, even with me, right? Like I've right. had to, because I work in corporate, right? I've had to navigate certain kind a certain set of waters right. that a lot of black men will never have to deal. With, right. Right. I have to navigate an environment that was not designed for me but i now find myself in and having to navigate those yeah, yeah, yeah. in other words there's this there's there's some jokes that you're gonna have to overlook because you can't yeah. fight every fight because and yes in yes. some places you're gonna have to take a stand yeah i went uh, i was in a white a mostly white schools from the time i was in fourth grade and well until uh to college okay so i've been in those i've, I've been in the one only in a whole bunch of classrooms a whole bunch of settings yeah, yeah, but the thing is, people are now the stigma about marriage has fallen off, and nobody's really looking to get married like right. that. Yeah. So the thing is, now when you see people actually get married going going forward, it's because it's not going to be that social stigma. It's right. going to be because they actually want to do it, and it's not because hey, I saw my friend do it, and I saw these yeah. friends yeah. do it. Yeah. They're going to yeah. do it because they really want to do it. So I think we're going to see the marriage percentage of sticking around 
yeah. increase up, but we're going to also see that the, the likelihood of more people getting married go down. Black men and black women do share a big thing in common because they don't other races don't get this. You got the angry black woman and the angry black man. Like we share that synonymous synonymously, right? Mm -hmm. Because when you think about it, we have those titles. Man, he comes, oh, he's aggressive. So what allows that man to soften up? A white woman, right? A lot of athletes, and they go into these doors, vice versa. Oh, black women have attitudes, right? The angry black, the snapping of the fingers, the head, and da da da. If you see her with a white guy, you less like, yeah, the snapping back. You like, oh, she can't be one of those for a white guy to be with her. Cause it goes to the point earlier when y'all reference how, you know, the black woman, she says, F you, you know, it's like, who's accepting that outside of black people, right? Or black men, rather. So I think to break those stereotypes that share within the race people go outside of the race because that's where you get balance because what we think we think we're like when you hear trap stars you think your relationship is great mm -hmm. and then you go into the mainstream and you're like man i don't have as much buy buying power as referenced earlier not enough connections and it's like how do i get this and people start seeing the easiest way to get that right if you're not born into it um as referenced by all y'all is through relationships right and so i think the reason it works so well is for some reason, I think black women think black men are the one that gives the most pushback when I think the pushback can be equal at times. Because a white man, he may be authoritative, but is it being challenged? A black man could be authoritative, but his is going to be challenged more, I would say, in relationships with a black woman which goes back to the Klingon and all that stuff, which is the crazy thing about it. Two authoritative men, and you would think that if you have uh, that authority and that respect, you wouldn't be challenged. But then once you separate the authority oh, aspect from the white and the black male, the distinction is the respect. Who's respected more? And I think but in those relationships, a black woman will respect that white man's authority more. I feel like as a black man, I had to learn that that was my expectation that there's a certain level you have to perform at you have to yep. speak at but in the caucasian when you're interracial i don't think that same thing translates i, I just don't the question yeah. is why do you all think that black women and white men relationships work we'll start with uh our enraged because rebel zoe just went i've had a family member that dated a white guy and he was like a low-level white guy and he couldn't do nothing for her. as long as that white man could do something for that black woman as far as increasing her social status she, she's gonna stay in line because she, he's already gonna give her one thing that she already wants and that's light-skinned children <laughs> he don't want to the light-skinned children hey, i mean that's fact. athletes like that too right them athletes sure like that <laughs> yeah, because that's uh, the for what i because i've had white friends and what they've always said to me is that they don't like to make up shit either they, none, of, none of my white friends who said that have dated black women, they don't like the makeup shit. They like the same stuff that we like. A natural woman that's got her own hair that is dark skin and you know don't come with a, and don't come with a lot of baggage. Can trust and believe they don't like the attitude either. Yeah, but we, we always heard the uh, we already we, we've heard the mantra, and most of us know it is true. Black women are usually loud, angry, and boisterous and forceful. Mm -hmm. Does that change to the panel when they actually start dating outside of their race? They have to. Yeah, yeah they have it to. It won't work. Yeah, you can't even I, approach. I, I, I can honestly tell you this. We are accustomed to it. They are not. They they are accustomed to their women acting a certain type of way. We are we as black men are accustomed to our women acting a certain type of way. We just said it with um Daphne Springs. If she cusses at that white man, that white man ain't gonna take that shit. Yeah, but yeah. when but she she cusses at us, we like, oh, it's just a Tuesday. Yeah, you, remember, remember Kristen Karazin, the the, uh, the famous twirler. Yeah, you can hear you can mm -hmm. hear the difference the way she talked to black men versus white men. You could hear it. Yep, she would code switch. <laughs> All right, so your turn. What do you think is the major reason why they say that? Well, BGS already said that the data is false, but we are gonna just pretend that it is somewhat true. Why do we think that black women and white men probably fare better, you know, inside relationships? The, the relationships I've actually seen, I've maybe like in my 
times growing up, I grew up in church and stuff, so I've seen like the black woman come in with the white hoods and I've seen that maybe once or twice, something like that. And it's not the the hood black thing that yes, the white guy was a successful type of like, white guy. And if he was good, he definitely drastically changed the way. What is the impact of slavery and how you think that it impacts um, this influence of black women and white men? Because black women were not brought over to be our women. Okay, they're brought over mm. to be to do two things: uh, uh, be the uh, uh, for labor slightly, but to be the white man's concubine and actually reproduce for him, product for him. They were they were not brought over to actually be our wives or our women. But did it happen? Sure. After especially after emancipation, right? They try to force us together but thing is they were not they were never brought over here solely to actually be our women they're always supposed to be the white man's concubine so that has followed us you know for the last 200 years mm -hmm. he keeps it, you see it in feminist feminist literature you see it all over the place i think cola booth said she'd rather be uh, a white man's whore rather than the the black jelly bean at the bottom of a black man's shoe in other words you know so this is constant throughout america basically the way they see white men the position of white men in america you know they're part of it and then you know they, they try to deny it, but the thing is it's, it's not true if they could if they could actually if white men were actually marry them in mass they would leave us you That's think so? they don't yeah oh yeah yeah they would yeah. leave us yeah they would yeah they, would. they have babies they have babies for them already if white men would marry them in mass they would leave black men it's still and you think, black man you too. Those black man would then fly to Thailand, where they feel more appreciated. Well, well the thing is, is that if if, if the if white men married black white women in mass, then we would just they, then we would probably marry other people that are actually here. There's plenty of women, and there's not really there's not really a black man only make up what 10, 10 12 percent of uh, of all men. So they have eighty eight percent of uh, of others to actually uh, uh, associate with and there's actually more women than men in the country like 55 percent of uh of uh of the countries is women so should should black men be jealous or should black men really care they shouldn't care you know they mm -hmm. really shouldn't care because if for the most part even even the clark said there's nothing that you can do about it you could, if, if a white man wanted your woman there was nothing you could actually do about it this is true physically so legally or nothing so yeah, what do you think, sir? What do you think? Should black men care? No. And I, I, I honestly think that is a reason they are kind of pissed off at black men. 